Hi Pisces, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. So this is our general read for the middle of January through the middle of February. Um, bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying. Welcome to the new spread. So we've got overall energies here past, present, and future energies here, clarifiers for each, as well as final messages and or a summary from spirit, depending on how they want to do things. So let's get this party started, shall we? Overall energies are Vera, Vera Kocha, Vera Kocha. Honor the light. Let's see how this looks. Let's see what we have to say. This is a new one for me. Honor the light. Honor the light. And it reads, you are a light bearer. Your sole purpose is to redress the presence of darkness on this planet through shining the light. You are meant to do this in ways that feel most uplifting to you. What brings brightness to your spirit? Do those things. How do you create a loving legacy to remind others of the light? Exploring and expressing the light in ways that remind you to seek the light too is a way to fulfill your divine destiny. Your light is powerful. Use it. Honor the light. Vera Kocha. Okay. So we've got the Nine of Cups. Judgments, and the Seven of Wands. <sighs> Nine of Cups. Judgment, and the Seven of Wands. Okay. So with the Nine of Cups, um, speaks of a wish fulfillment, um, meeting, I'm, I'm hearing like meeting a goal, like you, you've achieved something that's been, you've been working really hard at in your heart space and you you feel like you've reached a you've reached a um you've reached a landmark here you've reached you've reached a milestone here with your emotional growth and then with the judgment card you've been working really hard with your spirit team to get here right and you've got the nod from your team and now you are in that space of defending that because you've come a long way like you you've had to you've had to cry a lot of tears and 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 come to terms with a lot of things that you didn't want to come to terms with as it pertains to yourself right and your your guys and your spirit team have passed down judgment and now you are now that you know what it feels like to be happy you are going to defend that so verifying or clarifying excuse me the nine of cups we have the page of swords 
the Hierophant, and the Four of Cups. So the Page of Swords is new information. This is the gathering. This is intel, right? This is watching and, and recording, not really doing much, but more of the keen observer, right? And the Hierophant is the spiritual matter expert so and then with the four of cups that's it's hold on let me look at this this is a uh... You're taking in all the information that has been given to you. All of this inner work that you've been doing. And you've been doing a lot. And you're at that stage where you know how like you go through rigorous training and you're just brain tired. Well, in this case, it's like your heart tired with this four of cups here it's like i don't it's like you know you've done a lot of work but you're not up for another dark night of the soul you know you've done a lot of work and you've taken copious notes from all of this work that you've done and you're feeling really good about what it is that you've achieved hashtag nine of cups and now with this four of cups, it's, it's almost like, it's, it's, it's like you got the meat sweats, but it's going in and doing your inner work. Yeah, you got spiritual meat sweats from having your wishes fulfilled and then the judgment card is clarified by the devil the lovers and the emperor you just stop it you just stop it ah oh, so with this judgment card it's it's like okay so The devil and the emperor. Okay, let's, I'm going to set you down for a minute. I want, I want you to look at these two and notice how similar those poses are with these two cards. Like the emperor rules kingdoms. He's over kingdoms, right? And then the devil rules hell. I mean, just, and there are, these are two very powerful characters. And with this lover's card in the middle, you, you, you're choo you get to choose. How you want to use all of this information, all of this information, page of wands, that you've received to get to this point, right? Because now that you have this power in this nine of cups, now that you have this power over yourself, you can choose to either use it to be oppressive or use it to be a benevolent ruler but the choice is yours because either way it goes the energy is here
the seven of wands is clarified by the fool, the six of wands, and the king of cups. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Fool. The Six of Wands. And the King of Cups. So what I'm seeing here is that you... Either way it goes... Either way it goes, victory is here with the Six of Wands, right? But with this information, this gives you a clean slate. Not only does it give you a clean slate, but it also gives you an upper hand with the King of Cups because the King of Cups knows that even though he, he is a ruler, over many people, the only person that he can really truly have dominion over is himself. He is the, you know, he's the great father and great fathers are known to have self-control. They're known to be emotionally intelligent. They know how to be compassionate, even though they may not say much, right? And now that you have acquired all of this information through, because you've acquired all of this spiritual information, you have now given yourself a clean slate to be victorious over ruling yourself. So let's look at these final messages here. We've got the star. We've got the four of pentacles. We've got the eight of wands. And we also have the high priestess. You have been set apart. So hold on to the information that you're receiving because you will need it for greater works. Let's do that again. You have been set apart. So hold on to the information that you're receiving because you're going to need it for greater works. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today, Pisces. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And I will see you, whoops, and I will see you next time. I know.